Usually, we are fortunate enough to catch these vegans before they detox themselves to the grave. Unfortunately, this one really did take it too far. Robert Lockhart has passed away after attempting to dry fast on a raw fruitarian diet, which he had been following for apparently 30 years, the cause of death being organ failure. I don't think the guy looked good at any point he was on YouTube, whether it was seven years ago or one year ago. Lack of muscle mass, sagging, wrinkly skin, but compared to the average fat, pale, standard American dieter, it's easy to see how he unfortunately looks healthier than the average person walking down the street despite half starving to death. Before we go into the mechanisms and explain what exactly happened, this message has to be spread appropriately and effectively. Vegans are going to say that this is an extreme example of the diet and that he didn't do the vegan diet correctly, but no one does the vegan diet correctly because it's a starvation diet. What happened to this man is happening on a lesser level to every single vegan there is. And depending on what negatives are present in a person's diet, their individual tolerance to these deficiencies, different diseases will manifest themselves. B12 deficiency can cause high homocysteine leading to stroke or heart attack. It could be the high omega-6 fatty acid intake causing heart disease, you know, insane carbohydrate intake causing insulin resistance, diabetes, even fatty liver disease, which Steve Jobs actually suffered from after being raw fruitarian, the lack of omega fatty acids, accelerating neurocognitive diseases like Alzheimer's, the list is endless, but many modern diseases manifest themselves due to a lack of animal nutrition. The most important thing to convey is the necessity of quality animal foods in the diet. Doesn't matter if you're a standard American dieter, vegan, keto, grain-fed carnivore, neither of those things are the solution. Until special interest groups are able to make money off of you actually getting healthy, most people will never figure this out. Thankfully, you guys have found my YouTube channel. In a study, it was found that vitamin B12 and vitamin D deficiency were associated with chronic kidney disease. These are two things that will occur on a vegan diet as it is absent of vitamin B12 and absent of cholesterol, which is needed to metabolize vitamin D3. Uh, the study also found that kidney function was restored after supplementing vitamin B12 and vitamin D. Uh, so vegans, per the usual, need a laboratory and a Vitamix to keep themselves alive. This kidney failure results in your body not producing erythropoietin, aka EPO, uh, which is needed to tell your body to make red blood cells. Uh, some of you might be familiar with this uh, as Lance Armstrong, Tour de France, various endurance athletes use this drug. Uh, without enough of it naturally occurring in your body, your red blood cell count drops, and you become anemic. Uh, so this kidney failure on top of the lack of iron that is in a vegan diet, we could see where this went wrong. How can you get oxygen into those erythrocytes? You can do it by getting more oxygen into your lungs, more air into your lungs by a uh, graded exercise program and um, by uh, introducing gradually a regime whereby you're uh, doing 30 minutes a day at least walking and deep breathing while you're walking. There's no need to be actually spending a lot of time jogging or running. You can do just brisk walking is introducing oxygen into your body. I hate to break it to this guy, but I think he should stop breathing heavily and eat a steak. Uh, there was another study where a man had multi-organ failure and very low iron levels, but this was likely due to cadmium poisoning. Uh, it's questionable if the fruit Robert Lockhart was eating was grown in soil that had been contaminated with heavy metals. This, however, is complete speculation. Uh, we mentioned B12 deficiency causing high homocysteine earlier, and there are many studies affiliating high homocysteine with impaired liver function as well as kidney failure. And despite having high vitamin B12 levels in their blood, these patients tended to have low liver storage levels of vitamin B12. 
uh, across all aspects of nutrition, all areas of medicine, serum vitamin levels are not usually good indicators uh, for overall health because your fat, your liver, various tissues in your body are where certain metals and certain vitamins are stored. You can't just measure blood levels and say, oh, I'm good. I read on a YouTube comment somewhere that he died of a heart attack. I don't know how true this is, but if that is the case, we know that B vitamins, specifically folate and B12, are very important for cardiovascular function. Uh, high homocysteine causing oxidative stress in the arteries is nothing to scoff at as well. Uh, there are probably half a dozen more ways this man could have died considering his diet, considering what nutrient deficiencies, but again, correlated directly to the lack of animal foods in his diet. With how many people are suffering and dying, it's despicable how these vegans are behaving. Oh, he didn't do the diet right. A plant-based diet is healthy and adequate for all stages of life. Yeah, if you want to end up in the dirt used to grow your food. I'm surprised they aren't more familiar with the ground after eating dirt and insects all day. What's even more disgusting is how vegans ignore that there is blatant propaganda and promotion of the vegan diet in the general media. Yet they play the victim card. Oh, little old poor vegan me beaten up by the big bad meat eater. Listen, I'm sure you vegan boys want to get pumped by some Italian sausage, but let's be honest here. Just about every average person thinks meat is unhealthy. They are so brainwashed that the bullshit nonsense documentary, The Game Changers, convinced them to suck down some Beyond Meat and that steaks were poisoning them. I mean, every single one of these vegan documentaries, Forks Over Knives, What the Health, Cowspiracy, is really an IQ test. I don't see this ending anytime soon. The answer is always money. You have a very large vegan presence in the media, and now there's even controlled opposition emerging in the form of the carnivore community. The Cargill carnivores usually stuck to themselves, telling people to shove grain-fed beef down their throats, but now they're going after vegans, hoping to convince more people to shove grain-fed beef down their throats. Kind of ironic considering both vegans and grain-fed carnivores promote torturing animals and the control of the food supply. Well, thank you guys for joining me. I feel like I've been doing this every week now with how many people are getting maimed or killed by a vegan diet. And you know, some of them are hopping on the carnivore bandwagon, getting checks from Cargill. Uh, some of them are just fading away into oblivion. Who really knows what's going on? Uh, but if you guys would like to support me, please share the video, like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Uh, definitely leave a comment down below. Tell me how good my makeup looks today, especially you jealous vegan fairy boys. Uh, you can also go to Frankie's Free Range Meat, high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. Uh, also check out Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. If you'd like to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one health consultations on how to optimize every aspect of your life, send me an email, frankatufano at gmail.com. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.